Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. Let's start from the news about the drones that Russia wants to get from Iran. Even though Iran officials say that they will not give drones to Russia, still we have some leaked information to media saying that Russians already visited special factory where the drones are assembled and Iran is getting ready to send more than 100 of those drones to Russia. I wonder if Iran would send them those Bayraktar looking drones. Uh, for now, I don't think so. The billboard in Russia, Wagner Group a private military campaign advertisement, so you may dial this number if you are 24 plus, you may go and die in Ukraine, but you can carry uh, <laughs> this guy in the middle. I think he carries uh, the washing machine or something like that. According to Russian law, the private military campaigns are forbidden, but still we have Wagner's and many more. If you follow the dictatorship goals, you are free to do what you want. All right, great news. We have them on the front lines already. M270s, so rocket artillery systems have been delivered to Ukraine. Awesome. Here we have some of the difference with Heimers because uh, those M270s, they are bigger. They have two blocks of those uh, rockets, uh, but Heimers is more mobile and has a longer range compared to this one. However, M270s are also very maneuverable and very light compared to Soviet-made rocket artillery systems, and I hope we'll see many of those on the front lines. Russian military chief Shoigu ordered today to Russian army to increase the military activity all across the front lines in Ukraine. Yes, we do expect some changes in a few days, my friends. But it's not gonna be the easy walk for Russians here. This is how Russian transport their helicopters. Basically, they remove the rotor blades and put the heli down behind the track. And this photo was taken near to Kherson. New video was released by Russian side showing old events. However, this video was filmed in February. And those are Russians getting ready to attack Ukraine. Uh, they were based in Belarus near to Moser on the south part of Belarus, Moser airport they were delivered to Kiev region uh, by helicopters and those tracks and most of those soldiers already found their rest in Ukrainian soil so here in the video everything is cool they're showing how they're flying everything is so calm for them this guy is smiling but we know what happened to them most of them successfully got Gestomol airport during the first day however the second day they were just devastated by Ukrainian special forces after a while Kadyrovs came to the place and also were devastated finally Russians were forced to leave Kyiv area for good Today it was a success for American diplomacy. Biden went to Saudi Arabia and they agreed with Saudis to increase the oil production for many millions of barrels. Basically here America is doing the same stuff with Russia as they've done with Soviet Union. Reduction of the oil prices is the big hit for Russian economy and for us it's more profitable I think because the fuel price should go down a little. Especially it is good for aviation business the jet fuel price goes down and we can travel more. It happened I think in 80s or 70s of the last century where we had the same similar stuff of negotiations. And here we have the Czech-made rocket artillery systems RM-70 Vampire already on the front lines fighting for Ukraine. And now let's go to the military map review. First of all, let's go to the north of Ukraine over here to Belarusian border, my friends. I was a little bit concerned about the Belarusian actions and also Russia sent many troops to Belarusian territory. However, Belarusian leader is not ready to attack Ukraine yet because what I saw in those two couple of days that they are just changing uh, their forces near to Ukrainian border they are not putting extra forces there they are not ready to attack my friends yes they announced some sort of mobilization however they mostly uh, dismissed all of the personnel uh, who were mobilized before so now they are doing some place maybe want to deflect our attention to the northern part of Ukraine it is a threat however to Ukraine and we should keep 
keep that in mind and let's go to the Kharkiv area where we have the confirmation or it's better to say clarification of the front lines let's go to the timeline today uh, we see that this is a gray area no one controls those Borchova, Mala Vesele or Vesele villages over here it is also a big lake over there other than this one, the situation there is very stable and Russia today, yes, as I told you, Shoigu announced the massive possible attack on Ukrainian territory from all directions. And that is why also we should expect that to happen on this kind of direction. But we have lots of our forces near to Kharkiv and we can withstand Russian attacks. There is no great risk for Kharkiv being uh, taken by Russians. However, the Kharkiv is under constant risk of being attacked by Russian artillery systems and rockets. Uh, let's move to Izum direction. While well, the situation there is standstill, Russia was able to get part of Bagarodishne. However, we were able to get it back uh, recently, my friends. It was some fighting and Russians were not uh, able to take this position. It's great stuff for us because, uh, yes, they lost many of the forces trying to reach Bagarodishne city or you may call it town there were some of the fights near to dmitrivka also and russians were not able to get this village back under their control let's go to some of the shells and today there were not many and yeah the situation on the front lines is more or less stable russia is not attempting to cross the siversky donets river to get to slavansk and also we have some of the clarification of front lines near to Bakhmut. Russia pushed a little bit today uh, near to Volodymyrovka. How far are they from Bakhmut? Uh, I think around 10 kilometers, not far away. However, they cannot, they struggle to reach uh, this uh, uh, road, the supply line from Bakhmut to Lysychansk. And they need this supply line if they want to take uh, Donetsk and Lugansk oblasts under their control. They need this road, they need uh, this road as well. And their main target is to get Slavansk and Kramatorsk. However, I think unsuccessful in a nearby perspective. Here what we have, some of the front line change. No, no change here, my friends. The south is also stable and let's go to the fire detection. Well, we have some of the shelling literally and recent shelling uh, here in this place, Russia pushes uh, hard already, and Siversk already was under uh, Russian attack over here. However, we also fired to their places, uh, Russian controlled territories, ammunition depots, command centers, because the Heimers is on duty, my friends, and it's great. Some of the shelling on the south here, and here's some oblast, uh, also some of the shelling again, Chernobyevka. Oh my god, how many forces are they have there? Crazy that they were just devastated there so many times. Also today it was a strong statement from our military command. They say that then we'll have 300 kilometers range rockets for our Heimers and M270 systems. We're gonna target the targets in Crimea. Obviously military airports and supply lines. So here it is, Ukraine may hit from Hamasis to Crimea, the intelligence services say. Also interesting news, Ukraine will get American-made uh, fighter airplanes. Uh, now negotiations are going to get F-15s, F-16s, F-18s airplanes. Uh, well, it could be fantastic and we also have some information that some of the pilots of Ukrainian uh, air forces will be sent for the training to United States. If we'll have those, that could be uh, the game changer for this war, my friends. Let's check out some Russian propaganda on their website, Russia Today. So here we have some of the titles, Iran issues, warning to United States and Israel. Well, just recently, United States and Israel agreed today to withstand uh, Iran aggression in the region. And that's uh, what drives Iran mad. Saudi prince reminds Biden of United States for uh, torture in Iraq. Um, well, here uh, they forget to say about the deal that it was uh, down today between the United States and Saudi and they just put some of the words from the speech and saying that 
Saudi is against the United States. Actually, Saudi and the United States, they also allies. And now Saudi opened their even airspace for Israeli airplanes or coming from Israel as well. It's great. Italy's foreign minister points finger at Russia over government crisis. United States approve arm deals with Taiwan. Well, that's great. Zelensky 2022, Stalin uh, 1942. The United States propaganda machine can easily make heroes, but it can quickly change the script. Uh, and here they have the article about possible Iranian drones delivered to Russia and they say it is very unlikely that Iran will step up its uh, confrontation with the West just to supply UAVs to Russia experts say but now we have the tensions between Iran and Israel ongoing and uh, yes they have many drones probably gonna supply them to russia who knows i would say in russia today they want to keep articles more neutral uh, i would say pro western at the titles and then you start to read them but after a while they have their own narratives about what is happening for example russia explains deadly strike on the ukrainian city it happened in Vinnytsia, and now they are saying how how it happened we will explain everything to you uh, we already know why it happened they just destroying our uh, cities our civilians but here no 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 we we will explain uh, to you the different idea ukraine gets its first m270 missiles we already know uh, about the news the structure of article here we have the information about m270 uh, about the Heimers as well and also uh, here we have the notice from uh, their spokesman of the foreign affairs and after that uh, we have the moscow has repeatedly warned west against pumping ukraine with weapons so basically they put narratives from russia into the article and firstly the news goes and after that they put narratives uh, what uh, the western uh, countries are bad they are pumping uh, ukraine with the weapons uh, <laughs> they're not saying that they are attacking ukraine i mean russians they put everything in this article in february kremlin recognized the boss republics blah 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 uh, it, this article should be about um to 70s and how we're gonna use them in crimea maybe we're gonna go to this media source and research more information about it for now my friends i'm gonna keep you updated about the situation here in ukraine press the like if you like this video if you don't like it press dislike but also there are so many ways how you can support my channel on the links in the video description just below for those of you who support me my friends you are awesome thank you very much for your kind support i wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are have a great time